Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Mongo engine and how you can work with the index in Mongo engine. As normal when you're working with the with index in every database, it could be MySQL, it could be Mongo, it could be MSQL, it doesn't matter. It's always a pain because if you resolve a problem in your developer mode and then you put it to your staging environment, then you have a new problem. You need to remember what you have done from development to staging and if you are moving again from staging to production because everything now is working as it should be then you have the same issue with mongo engine i think they have think about the same issue and there i think that's have resolved this issue pretty well you can just add the indexes inside your document tree when you create the document uh, when you're working with the ODM. So let's go in for, for the ODM here, the folder. And as you can see, I have the default connections here. It's just for my locally Mongo database. It's a Mongo admin secret, it's nothing. Hocus Pocus here, it's just a single connection. And then create a new um, file inside here and call it post. I will uh, work like we're creating a block uh, container so that's what we want to do now from mongo engine import uh, document and then we need to post and should be document here and we need the fields and that's fine yeah we need the fields up here and it should be a title but we need the title it should be a string field and then we can say string field here we need the content string field the content could be all the content of your of your uh, blog post so then we need a meta tag meta tag i think that could be the the meta title the meta description and everything you have in the normally in the header of your html document i want to put inside the, the dig field and then we go down here and the categorize categories here we go and it's a list field I need to add this up here too and then we need an others list fields we will enable about kind of multi and others and then we have a status should be a string field could be pending published draft could be anything We have the update field, should be date time. Date time field, we just add it down here and then we have created that. And then we need the meta here. And now we have the basic document here about um, about a post. We have no indexes right now and that, that's what we want to create because I think it's, it's important to have the basic content so we, we know what we're working with. So let's go in for the app here. And uh, we go and say from ODM, post, import, post. And then we go down here to say post equal to post. And what we are working with should be the title. Hello world. And then we need the content. world is nice and I think maybe we need a status here yeah status let's just say pending something like that and then we need to post save and then it's recreating it so if I go into say Python app it should creating everything and it's doing so let's go in for the Mongo to confirm that we are creating what we want and let's reload here and you can see we have the content with this and the title and everything here is fine so right now it's okay but we still have no indexes here you can see we have no indexes and then we can going down uh, going back to the file here and what we want now we have uh, a two normally options I think it's good the first one is auto create index I think it's a default, but 
I'm pretty nice to have it so my teammates know what I'm thinking about that about the should should the index be created by default or should it not be created by default when you work with Mongo and Mongo engine and then I will go for index in background and as default this will be false but I will say true and my experience is if you have a big collections and you don't have this then first time you hit this it will be pretty slow because it's waiting to create the index uh, index in background is just push and then create the index as it's uh, it, it's having what to do it could take time and once it's done of course the system will be a little bit slower but it's but it's still working so now it's time to create the indexes and, and I will show you three uh, options you can uh, work with depends on how you want to work with the indexes but of course the last option I show you what is what we end up with it's the the way I love to work with even if you only have one index on, on this one because it explains much more what we've done the first one we need to work with is indexes and it's a list and what you can do here, we can just say status, and then we can say uh, what, what should we take? Uh, let's take in a created add. That's the two field we want. And let's add in one more. And going back for the for this one and refresh, you can see we have two indexes now, and we have two. So when you are adding the field inside here in the list that's meaning you will create an index for each value you create and not a compare index so now I have two indexes here and if the purpose is I want one with the one index with status and then bind it up for creating so I can make an index first on like everything is pending and then I will index on on credit add it's, it could be something like I want to filtering out what data we have from one year ago and for this now it will not uh, be the best way so let's remove it and going back for the code and change the code but we want to support uh, tools so let's just copy this now we want the same case with the turbo and now we will create an index contains the status and credit add and then let's say we want one index with a title that's what we want now that's creating one more time and that's going back for the mongo the GUI here and refresh now you can see we have an index with the status and created that and then the title if i right click on edit you can see we have it here and we have the options and uh, we have the advanced creating background so that's perfect as we want that's meaning when we create a new post it's just indexing the background when it's have, having time and uh, still a little bit confusing here because if we will add in the ul here for the post let's say we want a nice ul and we want to have this index with the unique we can't do this in the turtle and i'll show you how I prefer to create the indexes so follow the next couple of time here so now when we have decided to have the nice uh, ul here i'll just add the ul and then we're going back to the indexes down here and say we want still have the indexes and i'll just create them in a different way i'll make a, a dictionary and inside here i want to say the name We'll just say the name should be status and then we need the fields and the fields should still be a table that's working pretty nice and i remove the the title here because we don't need it anymore and then i create a one one new one and this should be a name it's called jewel and then we need the fields and should be the, the UL. I know you can just do this way and say UL, but I prefer to have it in turbo because then I always know how it's working. And then we want to say this should be unique. So 
I'll say unique and then true. That's meaning we have an uh, index with here what we call it the uh, status and we have one called it the uh, UL and the UL should be unique and the status it's okay if you have multiple of this. So going up here and remove everything and uh, I will just remove this, that's pretty easy. And we're going back for the app and I will just add the UL here and we say hello world jewel and then we add it up again going back to mongo I have the post here and then we have the jewel and we got the indexes status and jewel and if I try to add this again it should cry and it's doing it and it's telling the, it's trying to to save a duplicate unique key and it's giving the error what is what is happening here. So that's working pretty good and that's the way I really love to create indexes when you're working with Mongo engine and indexes. And it's pretty easy for me to read and understand what the purpose of this is. And you can do it in the other way I'm showing from the beginning, but I know this is more code, but it's well helping both you and all your teammates pretty much to do it in this way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this and I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can go in the right corner and press on the thing, of course, and hit the like button and share button if you want. And I really hope you add this for your playlist and hope to see you next time. Bye.